And welcome back, everybody, to a preseason ranking you should care about, and it isn't the one that first comes to mind edition of the Always Irish Show. As always, you could find the show on YouTube. Do hit subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate it. And if you approve of the content afterwards, go give the video a thumbs up. That would help me as well. Twitter, search bar, always Irish, or at JKCND4. Emails, always irishnd at gmail.com. Audio only, anywhere you want me, you could get me. Merchandise link below in the description. So here we are. College football season is right around the corner. This is the time of year where everybody on God's green earth comes up with their preseason rankings. Bloggers podcasters, YouTubers, professional college football writers, and eventually the preseason AP poll and coaches poll will drop. That usually comes, what, the first week of August, so right around the corner. First things first, and I will never come off this. In my opinion, there should be no ranking polls until about weeks five or six of the regular season to see who's done what and against who. Then come out with your rankings. Doing it based on who was good last year doesn't make much sense to me, but there's so many clicks involved and magazines to sell and videos people want to watch that I'm never going to win this battle. So it is what it is. That's just how I feel, okay? But I digress, Preseason rankings overall as far as teams shouldn't matter all that much whether it's good or bad for Notre Dame. If Notre Dame plays well, they're going to move up in the rankings and be just fine. That's just the way it goes. I especially feel that way entering 2021 because of our personnel losses. There's a lot of uncertainty. All the production we lost on the field it makes sense people are going to have us a little lower ranked going into the year, okay? So I don't value those preseason rankings that much, but there is a ranking list I came across the other day that I do value very much, and I feel that it might be the most important list to be on. What is that list? That list is 247 Sports Top Recruiters List. So this is an ongoing listing of what coaches across the whole country are doing well at recruiting. This isn't just head coaches. This is everybody. Number one on this list, Heartline from Ohio State makes perfect sense. Great recruiter. Look at that wide receiver class they have coming in. It's unbelievably skilled and talented. Makes perfect sense. Number two, ranked recruiter in the entire nation is hashtag the Freeman Factor. Number two, this is extremely significant and you should care about it a great deal. Think about what this means. It means that the second best recruiter in all of college football is recruiting for the school with all of the built-in challenges and excuses to struggle in recruiting. Grades, test scores, Midwestern weather, limited entertainment value in South Bend, Whatever those age-old recruiting excuses are that we've all heard our entire lives, despite all of those unique to Notre Dame challenges, Marcus is the second best recruiter in the land as I sit here today. Again, these are not rankings from Notre Dame bloggers, pro Notre Dame YouTubers, in-house media. This is a national outlet list with no dog in the fight. He's an elite recruiter, and you cannot let him leave South Bend, period. Period. I've been reading articles from Columbus, 
Ohio about Freeman and the traction he made with in-state talent while at Cincinnati and now what he's starting to do at Notre Dame. These people in Columbus are starting to talk about a recruiting rivalry developing between Notre Dame and Ohio State. That is amazing to me. That is a different level and kind of recruiting, and we should all take notice and appreciate it more if you haven't already. It's a national story now how he's recruiting at Notre Dame. Recruiting is the lifeblood of any and all college football teams. We have a gem in South Bend, a naturally gifted elite recruiting and communicating gem. Keep him around. I value this ranking over any preseason team ranking that anybody comes up with, including the Associated Press and the coaches poll or their SIDs or whoever sends in their votes on their behalf. This ranking is based on already occurred results, not what might happen in the season. That's the difference. This ranking is based on already proven results. Taste it. Embrace it. Don't waste it. Keep this man in South Bend. Okay? So, when you're looking at all this, don't get frustrated about wherever Notre Dame is in the preseason polls. Look at that number two recruiting ranking and know it ain't going to stop, you guys. It ain't going to stop. This man's just going to keep finding more interested talent that wants to look into Notre Dame, and I love it. So, of all the preseason rankings that are going to come out, already came out, from professional people, amateurs like me, whatever it is, seeing that number two ranked recruiter in the whole country is our guy. That is significant progress in the right direction, and I love to see it. Embrace it. Hashtag the Freeman Factor.